Damn, TD Drizzy here. You know, as you can see, we're doing another story time Saturday, and um. I don't even know how I was like, I don't even know what I was thinking about. But uh yeah, we're doing another story time Saturday, which I love doing. And this one is on my brother he had a football jamboree this or it last weekend. Uh at the time of when this video is gonna go up, not at the time when I was recording it. Um Bro, alright, hold up. We gonna, we gonna lead, lead this match. We gonna, we gonna lead this match. I ain't not. No. Nope. 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 Can't even. I can't even keep my train of thought. I'm trying to fight him. Um. Back. Kaya. And then, sorry. Um. So. I wanted to tell y'all about how it went. So first off, with. with, with my parents, I went with my grandma, because neither one of us, need, well, my grandma is an out go, outdoor person, I'm not, so she wanted to take me just in case she wanted to leave, and I was full for that, because I didn't want to stay there the whole time, no offense to them, but I don't, I don't really like football games like that, so we went, and they both play, they don't play on the same team, but they both played at the same time on the same field, because, you know, Pop Warner, it was a jamboree, too, so they didn't really, like, you know, play that aggressively, right? So my brother, my, this, the, old, the older one, the seven-year-old, plays on Mighty Mites, and then the other one plays on Tiny Mites, if you know how Pop Warner works. Tiny Mites is the youngest group. Oh, I this is wonderful. Um. So when my when my littlest brother was playing, or before my littlest brother's game, my mom asked me to give him his gloves. So I ran down there and grabbed his glove, or gave me his gloves, and I gave them to him. And the kid proceeds to put his gloves on backwards after I had walked. So we had this whole deal where he was whole first game with his gloves on backwards, and which was hilarious, might I add. But you know, if you wear your gloves, if you wear football gloves backwards, you know, not only does it look stupid, but it can actually uh, affect your ability to catch. Just I don't know if that's true, but that's just a rumor that's always been said. Like if you wear them backwards. Or if you wear them backwards, it can actually like stop you from being able to catch certain balls that you should catch. So yeah, no, they kind of was mad there for a little bit. But after that game, or or during that game, my brother was like going for a couple tackles, um, and did not make any of them when we were there. But um. The older one was playing on the other. He had his, had his gloves on on the right right way. Um, he, uh, from what I could see, really didn't do anything. I couldn't. I was standing close to the ones game because I had to tell him to switch his gloves. Um, so I really didn't see what the older one did. Oh, I died. Freakity frack. Um. But when we left, I left because I we left because I started to get hungry and I wanted food because I didn't get food earlier because I don't wake up like they do early enough in the morning to get breakfast. Not necessarily get breakfast like I make my own breakfast, but I didn't that day. So I was kind of, you know, I was in one of those hangry moods where I can go on a rampage in like 30 seconds or less. Like, you say something to me, and I might just chop your feet off. But, um, so we left, and immediately we went to QQT, quick trip, and we got food. So then we was, if they, they, they wanted food, food, because they probably was leaving by, by then, and they said, no, they didn't want food. Um, and right, and then at the same time, she said that my brother scored a touchdown and sent me a video that he scored a stupidly long 
uh, rushing touchdown. He got the ball, and he caught the ball, and then ran all the way down the field. It was great. He scored a touchdown, and then the oldest brother did not. The older brother, I mean, did not. Um, so, that, I mean, really that touchdown was the only thing that really happened, but he also made three tackles when we left, too, so that was pretty good. So, it was all in all, it was a, it was a pretty good experience. Now, I think they can improve, of course. I feel like the youngest the youngest one was a little was a little scared. He kept like like going in for tackles and then like running away after like not really like going for the tackle, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like Olang. He was Olang a lot of people. I did it again. Okay. I gotta stop doing that. Um But uh they did a lot better than my first game. My first game of football, I don't even think I played. Well, of course, you play in Pop Warner, but I don't remember actually, like, doing anything good, so. Um, they also play for, like, the stud squad. Like, for the Warriors of Pop Warner. It's so stupid. They play for the best team in our in immediate area. Like, not even trying to cap. They play for the best team. That This team has been good since I was in Pop Warner, which feels like three decades ago. But this team is this team their motto is that they never lose because they <laughs> never lose. Them and another team in our in our area are really good like kind of far far away. So, so. But both of them both of them their motto they don't lose. <laughs> we beat we beat them. We beat the second team once, not not, not the team that my brother, my brothers play on, but the other team once. And our coach sent out mass emails to every and everyone and, and every and every resident that lives in our town. Uh, uh, that that we beat, beat that team. We were like the first team to beat them since like they joined the Warner League. <laughs> like, like what the flip? Like, this team has been stomping teams. I just don't know where they get kids that are like seven. And they're like six foot two fifty. Like it's freaking ridiculous. I hate it playing them. Cause compared to our team, where everyone on our team was like three foot, they had like four foot, five foot guys, and they were just giants. But that's enough talking about me. Uh, but they they did stomp everybody. So, um. Except for, I mean, they they looked like they were losing, but apparently the coach said they were stomping. I mean, it looked like they were getting clapped, but they were winning, apparently. But, you know, that's just, I guess that's just how Pop Warner works when you play on a good team. Um, but with that being said, you know, I like to give shout-outs to all the boys. Um, SMTD Eclipse was supposed to start a recording, but, but he, he still is, is having... Difficulties getting his computer set up, and once he gets his computer set up, he's gonna start uploading. And SMTD phase not not doesn't really upload any does not upload anymore. But if he was ever to get back into it, he knows I'll give him plenty of shout shout outs. And then SM and SMTD fate also got drilled me on editing, so I'm gonna try to get a little bit better at doing edits or try to do it and. SMTD is really, really as much, um, and we we don't really really post us on the SMTD clan channel just because just me me right now. I think if SMTD Eclipse gets back into it, we might actually start regulating the SMTD clan channel. But uh, with that being said, um, if you like any of my videos, subscribe to see more. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe to join the spam squad today. And um and uh we on the road to two hundred subs, face cam at a thou or more. I might decide to do more. <laughs> but with that being said, I am out. Peace out. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me.